Yeah, I got him. Hello everyone, welcome back. For those of you that are new, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Today we're doing some wet waiting on the island. We have got very, very hot weather out there and uh, temperatures are darn near approaching the 100 degree mark. So I figure we'll take comfort inside the water. Got the spinning reel, all my bugs inside the sling pack. Let's get out there and see what happens. So the wade fishing plan did not go as expected. We'll get home, regroup, and come right back out again tomorrow. Yeah, I got him. That's a gar, son. I think it's a gar. Yeah, that's a stupid gar. My goodness gracious. It looked like tailing reds. Yeah. Oh my gosh, y'all. I think we've lost a, uh, a curl tip. Gosh, he's got the line in my kayak. <clears throat> yeah, right there where the uh, tr transducer mount is, that's where I'm stuck. There we go. All right, so we got to figure out how to get this fella off because I do not have a, uh, a, what do you call it, a net. Nor do I have a, oh, I do got a rope. I don't want him to go airborne on me, like straight into the dang kayak. There we go. Yeah, for the win. Y'all like that release? It just like reeled all the way to the lure and then just jabbed. They got bony mouths. I was really dreading because I'm not prepared to release something like that. Gosh, I know. Y'all may call me a weenie. I don't care. Gar have way too many teeth. Got a nice size gator right there. It just popped up. Christian pointed him out to me. We're now in the marsh. And uh, I told him earlier today, we just needed to be mindful of the active gators that are going to be out here. That one, based off of his head, the size of him, probably a five footer, six, somewhere around there. You trying to stay together? So yeah. Bigger? Yeah. Yeah. Just get him out of the area. I'll never forget Lawson Lindsay's like recent video where he literally had to smack a big gator away from him. That had to have been so scary. And he wasn't even on a kayak. He was on a paddle board. A tiny little gator right there. 
I had to guess, maybe a three footer. Oh, that's a big gator. Right in front of us. The gator? Yeah. Like literally right here. I thought it was like one of those uh, floats. He's probably about four, five feet. No, I'm gonna get my paddle ready to to whack him because he's not he's not going away. <laughs> he's still back there. He just went to the bottom. Side scan picked him up. Up here, son, cast inside these two little drains. They're really good for reds. Uh oh, agar. Had to have been a gar. But I'm gonna cut my motor so that you can come cast. Uh oh. There we go. You hit it while I was making an adjustment. Is it a gar? It's a little gar. Got a long nose gar, y'all chasing bait inside there. Fooled me because I thought it was a red, but look at that. Let's try to do that same old trick. Oh gosh, no, he ain't getting unhooked. That is right through the nose. Well, we got him right through the kisser. A little bitty gator gar. I think this is gonna be it, y'all. Uh I'm not too sure what y'all caught of my conversation with Christian. He was uh, telling me like he doesn't think it's going to happen, and I agree with him. It is hot. We we have very high temperatures right now, a high heat index. The water temp is 87, almost 88 degrees, and it's going to be unbearable for any fish to want to bite in shallow waters. So in the marsh during this time frame, you got to come out super early before the sun starts doing its thing but right now we're 9 30 and i bet we have like a heat index of like the mid 90s it's supposed to get up to 102 somewhere around there and the fish just aren't gonna bite i mean it would be suicidal for them to chase something down and not be able to breathe at the same time and it would be like bad sportsmanship on our part to stay out in the marsh to continuously try to catch something that we're not going to take home to eat um, because of the high water temps after they exhaust themselves on a fight there's really no oxygen in there for them to breathe and in the past I've had to take home fish like in my second season here I learned that you just don't do that so you get off the water before 11 a.m. and you just call it a day so uh, we're more than likely gonna call it quits right now I will still fish if y'all see me catch something well obviously it's gonna be on the video but thank you for sticking with me through two days of fishing it's been tough I have a very positive frame of mind and I'm not gonna let it worry me these it's like clockwork every year you experience a little of the same this is my fifth season fishing and uh, well, it's well, it's not, well, I guess it is well expected, but uh, yeah, that is gonna do it. Let's wrap this one up. It's not for a lack of bait being out there in the water. The heat is very real. So with temperatures like up in the 90s already, that early in the morning, we're gonna have to restructure our plans as far as what we're gonna do. Looking back, in the years past on my calendar has painted a different picture for some reason this year just seems to be a little bit hotter the heat index is just unbearable so deeper water may be in the forecast who knows i just know that it was a great day out there early on in the morning but it got hot really quick and the water temp getting close to the 90s is just not something that you're going to want to fish because there's just that little of them out there no, uh, I mean, I, I guess it's not a surprise to say that the prehistoric ones, the alligator gar, those guys are just hardy. 
uh, hardier than the Reds, that's for sure. Happy that Christian was able to land something. Don't forget to go over to his channel. Subscribe if you're not familiar with it. Um, you'll be able to see what he's doing alongside me. I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for tagging along on this adventure. Two days in a row, subpar fishing, but it is well above average day of life, day of living, and uh, I'm glad that I get to do it because y'all consistently come back to this channel and continue watching everything that it is that I am posting. So thank you so much for allowing me to live a blessed life. All right, that is gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in any of the gear that we are using, that will all be linked in my video description down below. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.